In the last tutorial, I demonstrated how to create pages in WordPress, and I illustrated how those pages, by default, appear in the top primary menu of your WordPress theme. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom menu. Let's return to the dashboard, and under the Appearance option in the toolbar, we'll select Menus from the flyout. When our Menus area opens, you'll notice that we don't have any menus. And again, the default setting in WordPress is to add new pages to the top primary menu. We want to first create our new menu, and we'll add in a menu name here. I'll title this Main Menu. And the next step is to click on the Create Menu button off to the side of the page. Before we add pages to this menu, there are a few menu settings for us to consider. First, we're going to automatically add new top-level pages to this menu. We'll also put this in our top primary menu position in the theme that we're using. These settings mean that each page that we add will be added to the top primary menu automatically. Next, let's select the two pages that we created in the previous tutorial and click on the Add to Menu button. These pages are now both featured in our menu structure and we can drag and drop these if we'd like one page or one menu item to appear before the other. We can always return to this menu and edit the menu structure, but for now we'll click on the Save Menu button so the menu is saved and we'll return to the front end of our site and refresh the page. The only real change we'll see is that the Welcome to Guitar Central page now appears before the Guitar Central blog page, and that's because that's the way we defined it in the menu structure. In the next tutorial, I'll demonstrate how pages are organized in parent-child relationships, and we'll do this by creating sub-pages or drop-down pages in menu items. Thank you.